coming in. SAC headquarters, Air Force, uh, Omaha, Nebraska, 15th Air Force, Riverside, California, takes the best of the two, throws the other one out. The commander, deputy commander, pick up their action code books and they copy down a 35 digit structured message Abel, Baker, Charlie, Hotel, Zebra, so forth and so on, until all 35 signatures are in. Then they trade books and the speaker says, I say again. And we listen to it. If we're absolutely positive we have both heard exactly the same thing, then we have authorization to take our locks off the safe. Now, what do we want to know first? I want to know did the president really order me to launch this missile? We have about 10 or 12 authenticator cards on the inside. The second string in this message is a seven digit string. The first two digits tell us which one of these authenticator cards to pick out. Each one of them has got two digits on it. We, tell, we rifle through, pick up the one we're supposed to have, crack it open, there's five more digits on the inside, which must match the rest of that seven digit string. If that's happened, the president has ordered us to launch this missile. Other things that we take out. First of all, we take out a pair of keys, one for the commander, another for the deputy commander. Seven foot four inches apart, you can't reach them both at the same time. Spring loaded to the opposition, can't turn that one, jump over and turn this one. On top of that, they have to be turned within two seconds and held for five seconds in order to initiate a launch. More internal control fails the systems. Okay, so we have two more things that we absolutely must have before we can launch the missile. Number one, we have to have the butterfly valve code. It came in with the message. It has never been aboard this system, nor was it at Davis Mountain Air Force Base. The other thing that we absolutely have to have is what time do we launch this missile? It could be now, it could be 10 minutes from now, it could be 10 hours from now. Remember folks, we have Trident submarines, B-52s, they're going to tell us what time to launch this missile. We calculate it and write it right across the face of our clock. So, with that in mind, it's time to launch. Commander, if you'll put your hand on the key, I'm going to say 3, 2, 1. When I say launch, I'd like you to turn it clockwise about a quarter of a turn and we'll watch the board. 3, 2, 1, launch. 5, 4, 3, 2, it didn't go. 1. You can now release that. You've got to turn it all the way. We'll get it in just a moment, folks. This is just electronically set up. But at any rate, what's going to happen is our lights go off, and now you have started something you cannot stop. You've got a, a row of lights up here. Our first one is, uh, this says that we are launch enabled. Among other things, our butterfly valve code is correct. The next thing that we have is two dry 28 volt batteries aboard that missile that are being uh, force fed electrolyte, and in 28 seconds they will take over all of the power of that missile. Doesn't need us for that anymore. That big 760 ton door, it is opening. We can't see it, feel it, smell it, hear it. We have no idea what's going on, but what's it going to do? It's going to break the tipsies, and we're going to get a red light, and we're going to get a bell. We are then told that we are silo soft, vulnerable to our enemy's attack. The next thing we have is guidance go. Check with the Magak for the last time. We're dumping water to the bottom of that silo and we're put, putting propellants to that first stage engine and in just one moment we will have ignition and then once we have ignition four seconds later it is buoyant the four explosive bolts are detonated the launch ring falls aside and the missile goes up out of the silo and in about 30 to 35 minutes target two will disappear off of the face of the earth from the time you turned that key to that missile was up out of that silo is about 58 seconds from the time these speakers went off till the time we got it out if we had to was less than five that's a whole bunch different than Atlas One Titan one, folks. So, how many of these did we ever launch? Never launched the one, that's right, ma'am. It did its job perfectly. It's called peace through deterrence. And what that simply means is our adversaries knew that we had this. They knew that if they launched at us, they would have 54 9 megaton thermonuclear hydrogen bombs headed their way very, very shortly. And theirs would not even be here yet. So, with that in mind, let's go on down to the silo and take a look at uh, what we have down there. Thanks, Dick. There's a little memento, ma'am, and what does that say? 